funny, this was originally a live stream. Um, I'm using my phone to do this, which I have some ideas for things to change up in the office, but I was using my phone. And apparently when you're streaming and you have it set to get emails and stuff, um, well, it, <laughs> which, anyway, so I'll record this and then I'll post it later because, well, why not? Um, I'm going to do this. I want to do this right to you guys. So what I want to talk about right now is the CR10 Smart. Really what I want to talk about is the CR10 Smart Resume feature, which is amazing. <music> Greetings, Steve here. DCPFX. A little different in the office. Yes, that's my office. Green screen. No, I'm not green screening right now because I won't print your view. I want to talk about the CR10 Smart. What I really want to talk about is the CR10 Smart Resume feature. Now, when I first got this, it's funny people, because people like to have their opinions, said, Smart? No, it's not. Um, I disagree. I started reviewing printers, oh, I guess about two years ago. When I first started this channel, you know, two and a half years ago, I did, did film review for fun because I have a company that I've used to buy printers from. And uh, they said, oh, can you do some more? They sent me some printers. This is like the seventh or eighth printer they've sent me to review. I've got oh, the Ender 7 behind it as well. Um, that I'm still working with. Not a fan. The bed sucks. But if I put some tape down, it works well. So for some things, it's great. Other things, not so much. Anyway. CR10 Smart, I said to them, I reached out to them, I said, you know, I'm getting a lot of people asking me questions about this, that, and the other. How do I, how do I, how do I? So I said, you know what? I'll write a book. I'll write a book. I'll do this. I'll make a 3D printing book. It'll be awesome. I haven't started yet, and we're almost in May, so I get off my ass and do that. But they said, we have the CR10 Smart that you could use for your display pictures, and what do we do a review for us? So I've done an interim review. I've done, like, an update, but I want to just talk quickly about the resume feature. What I mean by that is a lot of the new printers now have film and run out sensors. Uh, my CR10S doesn't, it just sort of runs and when you run out, you run out. So be it. Uh, the CR10 V2 does, but it has an issue. I have a CR10 V2, it's actually printing. What I'm printing right now is I'm printing some little mini helmets for Guillaume. He sold them to someone and uh, he had someone print them in resin and in shipping or something like that. They cracked. Uh, because they're thin. So we made them bigger, and he said, I'm going to do this in filament, because I've seen what you've done, Dave, in filament. Like my Star-Lord helmet, jeez, I can almost stand on that thing, it's pretty solid. Uh, my Star Gun Blast, Star-Lord blasters, I dropped one, broke the end off, glued it back on, Psh, can't even tell. Anyway, so I'm doing this, I've got the red done, I'm working on blue, and I said it last night, because it's a 27 hour print. All right, it's a 27 hour print, and that's at 0.15 layers and 15% infill. So, you know, they're a softball size. They're, well, maybe a baseball size. It's a good size, and it's quite a bit of uh, detail on the front because well, they're Power Ranger helmets. Anyway, I thought I had enough filament. Guess not. So, I. Came in this morning, expecting to have, you know, two hours left on it. And 75%. So it ran out around 4 o'clock this morning. Now it's going to run out sensor. Not all of them do. Uh, it does. And, you know, and apparently I'm terrible at this whole figuring out filament because I was running. This is a two-piece print. There's a head and there's a stand it goes on. The way you sign it is the stand is hollow. So the, if you don't know Power Ranger Turbo, it's car base, and they have headlights on their helmet. So the helmet's on, he's made holes in them. Well, here, that's just with a foam, we'll grab it. So their LED goes in and it shines through the hole, so you know, it makes it, it's funky. So 27 hour print here, seven hour print on the stand. I had enough filament on that as well, CR10, v2 has a run out sensor but doesn't do anything it just says hey you're out so i came in this morning expecting you know i printed one yesterday said so what last night and i expected to come in this morning to another one and it's three cores done and it ran out of filament so it was like ah crap 
So start over. So I got then to the other half of the office where this printer is, figuring this to be done, as I said, it ran out. The nice thing about this is though, the CR10 Smart, the bed was still hot. The way these beds work is when it's hot, it sticks, and when it cools off, parts just pop off, and it's really easy. Uh, same with the CR10 V2. But with the CR10 V2, because the bed cooled down to 20 degrees is what the office is in, it just was, oh well, it'd be waiting for the reserve. First thing to do is just shoop, knock it off. But this put in the blue, which is funny because I'm doing the blue Ranger. I already done red, I'm doing blue now. And I'm doing blue in blue. And you can see here, it's just starting to pop up there, but there's no interruption. So the patient just went, yeah, let's do this. So in that respect, this is a very smart printer. I do like this. I, I've always not, I've been a big fan of Creality printers. I, if you look at this channel, you know, I, I like the Viper. The Anticubic Viper was nice, but I do like Creality. I don't know why. I don't know why. My first printer was Creality, and I never looked at anything else. You know, any other filament printers, just I have you know, a CR-10S, a CR-10V2, an Ender, which the Ender 7, Talk about that later. Uh, I don't like the bed on it. The bed is terrible for adhesion. It works better with some painter's tape on it, but uh, you know it shouldn't shouldn't be that way. You shouldn't have to do that to make it work. Uh, the CR10 Smart, I like. I like it a lot. I think it's a great little printer. I think the little printer is a good size printer. I probably could do a helmet on here. Now, if you look at previous videos, I have actually done the the Lunar Q, the head of the Lunar Q, which is big. It's almost helmet size, and this thing. One drawback I have about it is it's an auto-leveling printer, but it doesn't do anything. It just changes the, the G-code in it because there's no way to actually level it up and down. So it goes, well, this is high, this is low. But I worked around that by doing larger prints on rafts. I did this one on a raft just to give me the stability because it's only a small bit that is being held on. So the raft gives me more holding. But say my, you know, the, the head for the Lunar Q, I did a huge raft on it. And yeah, there's some little bit of here and a little bit of there, they're a little bit high, but the raft took, you know, once the first layer goes down, it doesn't matter because then you have a second and third and fourth layer of the raft. It just, yeah, we'll hold it. We got this. And, you know, it did such a good job at a hell of a time getting the support to on them. So in that respect, this is a nice printer. It's solid. It's got the braces that some of the newer ones are coming with already anyway, like the CR10 V2 does come with it. And it just, it's a good, solid printer. It's not going anywhere. The documentation is lacking, but it is what it is. Uh, when you can figure it out, look it up online, or hey, ask me. Ask me down below. And it's good, I think, in the end. Creality just keeps getting a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. Now, I will do a full review of this printer. I haven't done that yet. I will. I've done an interim and unboxing, and I've done, uh, you know, sort of follow-up. Now I've done a resume print. And this is the second time I've done the resume print because, well, I did it on this as well, which I never really finished this blaster. Orville blaster, Orville's coming soon to a, something I don't get because I don't have Hulu and I don't have anything in the States and I don't know, I may have to break the law a little bit to, to do it or not, I don't care. It's just TV, I'm at the point of almost canceling cable anyway. I'm gonna cancel it in the office, I don't really watch anything but the news and the news is just so depressing. But yeah, there's sort of a follow up on this printer. It's nice. I like it. I'm looking forward to getting the rest of these helmets done. I have enough of the blue filament here that I can do the rest of the helmets. It just it's leaving me with green and pink and yellow to green, pink, yellow, blue, red. Yeah, to finish. And then uh, the stands I'm printing on the other printer. I may have to. I've got enough gray for one. I may have to go to. I've got purple here. Then I'm able to use that to do that. And um, but anyway, so consider yours. So that is an update on the CR10 Smart. Do would I recommend this printer? Yes, good printer. I'll do a more thorough, in-depth review soon. But this is another thing you can just add to your. Ah, I wonder if this is a good printer. Yeah. So that's it for today. Hope everyone's having a great day. We'll talk to you all later.